Okay, we are here today with Dr. Shara Basham, and she is an assistant professor with the University of Tennessee in Chattanooga, and she also has experience in uh, criminal investigation and in campus security administration. So she has a strong criminal justice background, and we want to thank her for being here today and for talking with us about her career and just some background information. Thank you, Dr. Basham. Thank you. So we're going to start out today just telling our students, you know, what what exactly do you do and then what does a typical day look like for you in your career? So right now I am working, as you said, as an assistant professor. I teach criminal justice classes at the University of Tennessee Chattanooga. So my typical day is a mix of working with students. So I teach several classes right now. I'm teaching most of those online, but I still get the opportunity to meet with my students, um, send them emails, have office hours with them where they meet with me and we talk about the things that we're learning in class and any questions that they may have. And then I also spend a uh, part of my day doing research. So part of being a professor is helping to contribute to our knowledge of criminal justice or whatever field of professorship you're in. Um, so I work on research that pertains to the criminal justice field, and I specialize in research on policing and criminal justice education. Great. So tell us a little bit also about your background just in criminal investigation and your experience in administration as well. So I consider myself a criminal justice practitioner and an academic. So other people would also refer to me as a criminologist. So someone with a PhD in criminal justice or criminology would be called a criminologist. Um, I've always enjoyed learning various facets of our criminal justice system. So when I first started college a long, long time ago, um, I got a degree in criminal justice. And over the past 20 years, I've worked in a variety of positions. So as you said, a criminal just a criminal investigator. So I lived in Princeton, West Virginia for a long time, and I worked there as a criminal investigator. So I worked for a private agency and we did a lot of work for the local public defender's office. We did contract work for them and other criminal defense attorneys. So if an individual was accused of a crime, their attorney would hire us to do their investigation. So we would collect evidence and take statements and meet with the defendants, um, get their side of the story and the information and provide that to the attorney to use when they would go to court. Um, after doing that for several years, I relocated and worked in campus security administration. So I had spent several years in college working as a security officer, and then I became the assistant director there um, later on. And so I oversaw a campus security department of over 75 individuals and we ran our office 24 hours a day, seven days a week, patrolling campus, making sure that the students were safe, um, providing emergency services. So if someone passed out or if there was a fire alarm or if there were other sort of security issues, um, it was our responsibility responsibility to um, to respond to those incidents and help students. We also oversaw like opening buildings and gates, um, dealing with other criminal activities on campus. Um, and then my job also was just the day to day of management. So scheduling, um, working with the officers to improve their skills and to help move them through the ranks of being a security officer and security supervisors. After that, I returned to school and got a PhD in criminal justice. And so after I finished that degree, I started working as a professor. I really enjoyed working with students and wanted the opportunity to teach at the college level. And so that allows me to teach them, just as someone taught me, about the criminal justice system and help get me into the field. So if someone would be interested in this, in the criminal justice field or, you know, in this area, what kind of background or schooling do you think that you would recommend for these students? So to get involved in the criminal justice system, definitely a degree in criminal justice or some universities will call it criminology, either one of those, those terms are oftentimes used interchangeably. So pursuing a bachelor's degree or an associate's degree in criminal justice, criminology, they may have programs in um, law enforcement. Sometimes they're very specific. If you want to be a police officer, some schools have law enforcement programs, but generally it's a general criminal justice program. 
So looking at that will expose you to all the different components of criminal justice. And that's the really th cool thing about a criminal justice degree is that there's so many things you can do with it. You don't have to become a police officer. You can work in corrections, which means you could work at a prison or a jail. You could work with parole or probation. You can work in case management where you work with individuals who've been through the criminal justice system. You can work with victims. Um, so maybe you want to be a victim's advocate. So if someone becomes a victim of a crime, they have people who advocate for them. There's also opportunities to work with juveniles. So a lot of people go into criminal justice because they want to work with troubled kids. Um, and so that gives them the opportunity to work in like a juvenile detention center or maybe do juvenile counseling, working with specialized juvenile courts. Um, there's so many things that you can do with a criminal right. justice degree. And that's a lot of options. A lot of options. It's very exciting because it gives you a lot of avenues to go. Right. What led you to this path? Like what made you decide this? You wanted to be involved in criminal criminology, criminal justice field. Like what was, was this always your passion or was it just something you thought you'd be good at? Uh, honestly, it's just one of those things I fell into. You'll probably find when you go to college that a lot of us don't know what we want to do. And I started out in a medical field and didn't really enjoy the chemistry classes and, and where that was heading. And so I decided to do something else. And criminal justice seemed interesting to me. It's very relatable. Um, and at that time, I thought I wanted to go to law school. And so that's what I was pursuing. But when I finished my undergrad, I decided to take a break and do something different. And just really, you know, this investigator job opened up. It was advertised. It wasn't something I had planned for, but the opportunity was there. And I had the skills and the experience and the degree for it. Um, and, you know, that one thing just led to another. And I've always enjoyed the flexibility of my education to move from security to investigations, to teaching, um, to working with individuals. It's been a great opportunity. And one thing that I've noticed when I've been doing these interviews is that a lot of people say, you know, all their experiences have led them to where they are today. And a lot of them are stepping stones that, you know, you may not start out with exactly the job you want to be in, but it all prepares you and gives you experience later on in your career. And I can see that with yours as well. Um, what do you think is the most challenging thing now about your position? I think right now the most challenging thing in teaching criminal justice is we are at a very critical part of our criminal justice system with all that's going on in the world with policing, with calls for police reform, with change in criminal justice policy, with understanding diversity issues. Um, it's an exciting time to be in what I'm doing with criminal justice. It's very relevant, which I enjoy, but it's also a bit difficult too. We are inundated with so much information and so being able to educate my students to find the accurate information, um, to think critically, and to go to legitimate evidence-based resources to find that information, I think is the hardest thing is helping people find accurate information to guide them as they determine what the next step is in our transformation of our system. That's very, that's a good point. Um, what would be like the most rewarding thing about your job right now? So I think the most rewarding thing about my job and any of the jobs that I've worked in, not just as a professor, but when I worked in security and even as an investigator is I like working with people and I like the fact that in each of those jobs, every day was very different. So maybe the skills I was using every day was the same, but the people that I met every day were very different. The individuals that I worked with, whether they were criminals or attorneys or when I worked in security, I worked with a lot of college students. And now being a professor, I interact with a lot of college students and professionals and practitioners. And I really enjoy working with people. And I really like being able to help them identify where they can grow and where they can make changes. And it's those daily interactions with others that I find to be most rewarding. Absolutely. So give our high school students some advice whether it's just about careers in general or their future or possibly about this field of criminal justice, what advice would you give students today? My advice to students today is to don't feel too much pressure. There's a lot of pressure to know what you want to do as soon as you get out of high school. And I'm sure most people you would talk to didn't know. We didn't know. A lot of us changed our minds. As I said, I, I changed my major. I've gone through very different types of careers along the way. It's okay to not know. 
and it's okay to figure it out as you go along. But as Ms. Collis said, taking advantage of those opportunities, it really is one door opening itself up. Things that we might not have expected will lead to something that you never thought you would be doing or an opportunity that you may have never considered. So be kind to yourself, um, you know, and also realize college isn't for everyone. Uh, many people choose careers over college. So finding out what works best for you and then moving in that path and moving forward and realizing it's okay to change your mind as you go along. I think that is excellent advice. And I wanna thank you, Dr. Basham, for taking your time to talk with our high school students today. And thank you for all your uh, hard work in this field. We appreciate you and I know you're busy and thank you once again for just being with us today. Well, thank you for the opportunity.